Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for visa for Bosnia and Herzegovina step by step. But before start, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media. And if you have any question or inquiry, you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram. So you can find the visa application form for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you once this page appear in front of you click over forms over here and here click over visa application now the visa application is downloaded let me open it for you now and this is the visa application form in front of you you will have after downloading it you will have to fill this visa application form completely by your self and don't forget in the end to write your name and of course to uh, sign this application form over here once you fill it completely and in the end you will have to submit this visa application form along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video to the embassy of bosnia and herzegovina in your country so to know where to submit the visa application form just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you the locations of the embassy uh, the embassies of bosnia and herzegovina around the world and also the consulates of bosnia and herzegovina around the world just uh, click over your country and if you can't find your country in this list then you will have to apply from the nearest country where the embassy of bosnia and herzegovina exists in this section we will speak about all the documents that you will need to apply for any visa but before we start, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and if you have any question, write it in the comment section down there, or contact me at my account at Instagram. The first document that you will need is your passport. Make sure that your passport is valid for six months, and at least two pages are empty for the stamps, and your photo and your details in your passport are clear. You will also need photocopies of your passport. Make sure that you have at least three photocopies and mainly they will ask for a photocopy for the data pages, but sometimes the foot, a photocopy of the stamps and the other visas in your passport will be required. You will also need a personal picture. Make sure that your picture is new, not older than six months, and it's preferred that your picture be with a white background except if they tell you something else and your face details must be clear in your picture. You will have to submit a visa application form. It could be online or filled by computer, then printed and signed, or printed, then filled manually, then signed. All depend on the kind of the visa you're applying for. You will have also to submit a proof of status. If you are an employee, you will need to submit an HR letter signed from your company stating your position and your salary and all the details of your company if you are the business owner you need to provide all uh, the document that prove that you have your own business if you are a student then you will need to submit uh, an admission letter from your university if you are a minor you need a letter of permission from your parents and if you are jobless then you will need to uh, proof uh, your source of fund you will need to provide a proof of legal status only if you are applying from another country so if you are traveling as a tourist or visitor or working in another country then you will have to submit either a visa or uh, a residence permit in this country a proof of funds is also required it could be a bank statement and it should cover at least the lux the last six months of your account and it should be signed and stamped from your bank you will be asked sometimes to submit a flight reservation and it should be a round trip and it could be either a confirmed ticket or a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them confirm a ticket and also a dummy ticket there are many websites that you can use for booking your flight ticket and in this uh, video we will use kayak site of course there are many other sites uh, 
like sky scanner and you can also book directly from a flight company itself so here let's assume okay our flight is return so it's like round of flight and only for one adult and our destination from Cairo let's say to Karachi Pakistan and let's use the dates okay these dates are fine search and now the site is searching for the flights there are many expensive flights but we will try to find cheap one so we can see this flight okay click here for the cheapest this flight from Lethad is very cheap so we will need to view the details of this flight just click over view details okay and we will be directed to this website budget air where we will have to make our booking okay i accept this is a site okay i already used the flight now i have to fill my details as the passenger and this is the price in uh, the emirate uh, durham but we already knew the price in us dollars here we need to fill our details all our details name your name date of birth and whatever whatever just as an example i just want to show you how to make a booking using this random site and okay okay we have to fill more details here in this section uh, you can pay more money so uh, in case you want to cancel your your trip you can uh, get full fund okay passenger number expiry date okay that number okay and then click next now here my contact details you need to fill your contact details okay i have to fill these sections Read. address line postal code city email retype the email and the phone number then next okay and you can pay for your flight now we have uh, to choose again okay this is the main price don't pay i don't want to pay any extra money you just choose it they keep remind uh, reminding you do you want to pay extra money for uh, a full refund and down there i will choose my booking i will choose the basic one because there is no extra charges i'm just trying to find the cheapest way and then click down there no thanks and then next and right now i am in the section where i have to make my payment first check your details my flight from here to there my details and in this section you need to fill uh, your credit card or visa card number and to make your payment then the ticket will be sent uh, to you by your uh, through your email so for those who want to learn how to make a dummy ticket not a confirmed ticket you can use the SWA uh, website dummy ticket for making a dummy ticket and the whole idea behind a dummy ticket that once you make uh, a booking they buy the ticket for you with your details and they put it in on hold for 10 days or two weeks and after that your ticket will expire so it is a real ticket but it will expire after 
uh, a specific uh, period so you need to choose which ticket do you want uh, are you sure that you are going to travel then you make a confirmed ticket or you're still not sure and afraid that you will lose money so you make uh, a dummy ticket so right now to start making a dummy ticket I think we need to click over uh, buy ticket this icon and in this section you have to choose the type of your ticket you want this ticket for applying for visa so we'll choose the first one and the price will be 19 US dollars and then down there we you will have to start filling all your details your name your surname your date of birth and so on okay then uh, uh, your travel details okay your departure date okay it's around the trip so from which city to which city your departure date your return date and how you can also choose how you want to get this dummy ticket through email whatsapp or both of them and then you fill your billing details your personal details and down there you have to choose the way of paying for this ticket you can choose either paypal or debit and credit card just fill the details of your card and make your payment then you will receive your ticket uh, through either email or whatsapp a travel accommodation proof should also be provided sometimes it's asked to be confirmed sometimes it's okay to be an initial uh, booking uh, and sometimes some countries require you that this travel accommodation proof covers at least a third of your trip there are many websites for making a hotel booking but the most common website is booking.com you just need to choose your destination where to go uh, let's say Delhi New Delhi and then my check-in will be in these dates the first to the fifth for four nights and i want a place only for one adult all right done and start searching and you can see all the options down there and you can sort these options well, according to well, the price for example using the cheapest first so for example you can go for the cheapest prices first if you care about money and you can see many 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 cheap stuff uh, over here of course you can change the currency uh, from Egyptian bound to US, do uh, to US dollars uh, or any other uh, currency and you need also to check uh, like the rank of all these uh, rooms so let's say that I will choose this hotel just click over it and then this page will appear in front of you you can see pictures of the place where you are going to stay and they will tell you the other things like there is Wi-Fi uh, there is a shower uh, there is AC so just go down there and now you can choose this is the price for four nights uh, and you can pay this number for one person or uh, another number for two person so yeah it's considered to be a very cheap price for two people now we can just select a room and once you select the room you will cl you, you will just click over I will reserve that you want to reserve this room all right and here in this section you will start filling all your details 
your detail over here, all your details, your name, uh, uh, why you are traveling, the reason of your trip. And then once you finish it, you go down there. Okay, and then click over final details. And once you click over it, you don't have to pay, of course, because the payment will be in the property, but you will have to confirm your booking and then they will send you a copy of your booking uh, through your email. Some countries, especially European countries, require you to provide a travel insurance. So it should be made from a verified office or platform. And as I told you, it's not always necessary and it should cover your whole trip. And some countries require you to uh, submit a travel insurance that covers a year and it should cover at least uh, 30,000 euros. And that doesn't mean that its price should be 30,000 euro, but I will clarify uh, to you when I teach you right now how to make a travel insurance. There are many websites to make a uh, travel insurance. Uh, we are going to use AXA Schengen website for making this travel uh, insurance. Uh, so once you uh, get to the website, you have just to choose you're making an insurance for only one person. Okay, and you need to choose the, the dates from which day to which day. And then get code. And you then will find many options like there are the offer the first one that can cover for 30 uh, thousand euros this is the good one and this is the one which is required by European Union for uh, 62 euros so this one is is very good but there are also other options like the other one with 70 uh, with 97 uh, euros and the other one for a full year for 30 for 328 uh, euros but uh, we will just go with uh, the first uh, option since it's uh, it, it is cheap and also uh, cover all uh, the essentials that we need wait so just click over select and once you select it you get to this section where you will have to fill all your details and then click confirm and pay and once you click confirm and pay you will make your payment using your visa card visa card or mastercard and then you will receive this travel insurance through your email remember also that before applying for any visa you have to contact either the embassy or the application office and ask them if there is any extra documents required from you or is there is any uh, different documents or is there is any change in the visa application procedures because sometimes visa uh, procedure change from a country to another in the end please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media accounts and if you have any question or inquiry please write it down there at the comment section or contact me at my instagram